Investigators in the Granite State are trying to figure out why a boat exploded in a fireball on Lake Winnipesaukee today, sending one person to the hospital. WBZ's Tashani Whitlow has the details tonight. Scary situation for those several passengers aboard that boat, and now one of them is in the hospital recovering from their injuries. We were about 40 to 50 yards, and it was, uh, I would say, surreal to see it because I haven't seen a boat fire on that lake, and I've lived here and gone out on the lake my whole life. Chaos on Lake Winnipesaukee after a boat explodes and bursts into flames near businesses and other boaters on a beautiful and busy Saturday afternoon. It was definitely scary. There was um, boats coming in all over the place, and the Marine Patrol were flying across the lake. Viewers sent these photos of thick black smoke filling the air. When Laconia firefighters arrived to Ware's Beach near Winnipesaukee Pier, they found the burning boat floating in the water. The boat had caught on fire at the dock and they had pushed it, somebody had pushed it out into the lake so that it would be away from the gas station. Firefighters say the boat had just refueled. With the help of Guilford Fire, officials pulled the boat to the middle of the busy lake, which attracts hundreds of tourists. It was very dark and uh, it, it was excessive. There is a lot of smoke. Smoke that could be seen for miles. All the way from Meredith, we could see the dark black smoke coming from the boat. The blaze spread to two other boats, as well as a sign and dock post. They immediately sprayed the water and that made the smoke go from that thick heavy black to gray and then the smoke ceased altogether. One person was hurt and taken to a nearby hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Damage to the boat, about $30,000 and could be a total loss. The cause of the explosion remains under investigation by the Laconia Fire Department, but officials believe the incident was an accident. In the Satellite Center, Tashani Whitlow, WBZ News.